Yeah, I'm very scatterbrained today. I have no idea why. Oopsies. Hey friends, Kitty, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. If so, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. I'm having trouble talking today, of course. What else? So today's video is going to be my Sephora loves list for 2019. I've been doing these the last couple years, I believe, on YouTube. I'll link all my past ones down below, and I might even have a playlist, so if so, I'll link that in the cards for you. I film these differently every year. Like, the first year, I filmed it, like, me talking about it and putting it in the screen. Last year, I filmed it where I just give you an intro and outro and then I filmed it completely 100% like on my computer. And then this year I think I'm going to do like screen recordings but still be here with you and like talking and stuff like that. I just feel like that's the easiest way to do it. So I have my laptop right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and go right into it. So yeah, basically if you haven't heard of any of these videos before, it's where I go through my loves list which is where you heart the products and put them. Basically you save them somewhere and actually I just went on Sephora's website and they're having 8% cash back. I believe Ulta's having 10%. That is awesome and everything. If you've never used Ebates before, obviously, you know I'm not sponsored, of course, but, but Ebates is awesome because you get cash back when you're already spending money. So you're basically getting money back for spending money you are gonna spend. I have my link to Ebates. If you never used it down below, you can definitely, I believe if you sign up for my link, I get some po I get some money, you get some money. So it's like a win-win situation. So I will, if you wanna check it out, I'll leave my link down below. But yeah, they're having 8% cash back right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get screen recording ready. I'm super excited to share my loves list of 2019 with you. Okay, so I'm on Sephora's website right now and I'm just gonna go right into my loves list. Let's see what I got in here. Some I added some things recently, but there's also things that I haven't added so much recently. So I'm really excited to like go through it. Should I go top to bottom or bottom to top? Or should I go A to Z, Z to A? I mean, there's so many options. So the first thing I have on my loves list is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. Now I've heard so much about this. It retails for $18, which is awesome. Like I feel like that's an awesome price range. Basically what this is, is it's a mild resurfacing toner that brightens and balances post cleanse. It's for normal dry and combination skin. It evens out your skin's texture and dullness, dark spots and pores. It's a liquid formulation. It has glycolic acid in it, grape grapefruit extract, and and aloe vera. Aloe vera hydrates and smooths. Obviously you're seeing my screen so I'm not gonna like go into really in depth and as of right now this is only online only but I really want to try this. I've heard a lot about it. I know people that used it on Actane and stuff like that and they really liked it and I just don't have a current toner so I really want to try this but this is gonna be in the Ulta's like skin sale coming up for the 21 days of skin I believe it's called. So definitely I think that's when I might pick it up. It's gonna be there for that so I think it's gonna be half off so it'll be like what ten eight dollars ten dollars something like that that's awesome so yeah i really want to try this and i just need a go-to toner that i feel like i love so i'll probably pick up like a couple of those during the ulta sale but it is on my loves list okay so next also on there is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and oak rose water this retails for ten dollars and i've just always wanted to try this so this is on my list and basically this is for a normal dry combination and oily skin it's a face mist that reveals Vibes, dehydrated skin with a dewy, glowy, any, anytime, anywhere look. Oh, I need this product so bad. It's liquid formula again. It has rose extract in it, rose extract in it, gardena extract, and thyme extract, and it just looks awesome. So I do want to try this out as well. Okay, so next is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I tried the foundation, but it was too drying for my skin. But pretty much everybody was talking about this over the weekend on Instagram, and I just been so curious ever since about this so yeah this concealer it comes in I don't even know how many shades like a ton of shades like I want to say 30 40 maybe even 50 shades so many shades oh my goodness and just yeah these are all like the shades and everything and everyone says it's like a creamy concealer yeah so it says a creamy long wear crease proof liquid concealer with light as air medium to full coverage it brightens under eyes and conceals blemishes and redness and I'm just so curious about this concealer it retails for 
$6, which is like not too bad for high end and you get 0.27 ounces, eight mil of product. So I feel like that's not like too bad. I don't remember what I was saying, but yes, I do really want to try out this concealer. It looks like they have a good amount of shade range and everything. And it just looks awesome. And I've heard it's creamy. Everyone's been raving about it. So everyone is influenced me, influencing me to get this or at least try it out. We'll see if I actually do or when I do. Next, I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit, which is a champagne pearl highlight. I have tried this before in a sample. I believe it was in my Project Pan for 2018. So I will link that video down below, but I like really, really want to try this. And apparently in a mini size only, I don't get why they have a rose gold highlight called Turnt. I see where they're going. They're going with the slime for their highlights. But I really just want to have this in my collection again. It's my favorite like stick cream highlighter. And I just really want to have this in my life again. So maybe a special occasion, I will get this. Probably won't get this till like summer maybe, but but I am excited about this and I just really want to have it in my life. It's just the best like dewy everyday cream highlighter. And I'm not just saying that because that's their claims. That's on my love sis. I just want to have that back in my life again. Okay, so next on the list is the Coverfax Dewy Skin Primer. Probably won't get this. Like let's be real, but I was very intrigued by this because I love dewy primers. It's kind of my thing. Like it's just what I love for my primers. This retails for 38, so don't know if I'll actually get this, but I'm very intrigued and it's just supposed to be like a dewy primer. It's supposed to give you that glow, which we love. And it has coconut, alkates, peptides, and hyaluronic acid and squalene. And it's supposed to be just a rich primer that nourishes and hydrates skin and impacts a dewy finish. And it just looks so nice. I feel like I would really like this primer, but the chances of me actually getting this is pretty pretty slim to nothing because it is a little pricey a little up there but we'll see we'll see we'll see i don't know 38 dollars when i have one wild dewy primer that's only like five bucks it's kind of hard to spend a primer at least for me so next thing that i have on here is the dominique cosmetics latte eyeshadow palette now i've kind of sat on this for a while but i feel like this is the next palette i would like to have in my collection it retails for 42 dollars and but like it's gorgeous and i feel like i need this palette in my life. Like it looks so gorgeous. Like look at creme brulee, macchiato. I just feel like I need this palette in my life. That purple, I live for that. That purple reminds me of the one from the original Carly Bible palette and I don't have that anymore. So I feel like I need this palette and this is just the next palette I feel like that's on my list. I don't really have many palettes on my list besides the ones that are from Colourpop because I do have those on my list because I want those bad too. But it just looks like such an awesome palette. You have 10 luxurious blendable shades apparently and it's just supposed to, I've heard like great things about this from everyone so I definitely want to get this. So next I heard things about this concealer as well and it's kind of a concealer I want to try now. Like I, at first I was just like eh not on my list but I kind of want to try this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Everyone raves about this concealer and I kind of want to try it after hearing everyone rave about it. It's only $29 which I'm saying it's only like that's kind of pricey for a concealer I feel like for the product you get but I don't know it has like pretty good reviews like it has like four and a half stars like I think that's pretty good and it's supposed to be a hydrating full coverage weightless form one formula that conceals contours highlights and retouches and it just looks awesome and I feel like a lot of people rave about this so I'm kind of curious and it looks huge so I definitely would love to try this I feel like this is the next like full-size concealer I'd like to try tried to tart shape tape I bought like two of those but then I kind of fell in love with that product so I would love to try like something new and I feel like Too Faced is the next step. So next I have a couple Clinique moisturizer on here. So first is the Clinique Clinique ID Custom Blend Hydration Collection. So I have the Moisturizing Lotion, which is for very dry to dry combination skin. It energizes and revives a glow. I have that on here. I just got intrigued with these one day. I feel like these will not even make it to my shopping cart, but they just looked very interesting and I was very intrigued. And like I said, for normal dry combination oily skin and it's supposed to be just a 
good way to hydrate your skin, I guess. I don't know, but that's what that moisturizer looks like. And then I also had the Custom ID Custom Blend Hydrator in like the jelly, which is basically the same thing. It's supposed to energize and revive glow, but these are for more drier, two combination skin types. And I've just been curious about those. So maybe I will get those, maybe I won't, but I'm kind of like very intrigued with these. So next, I would never try anything else by this brand because everything else is like way too expensive. But this I feel like is actually a reasonable price for something. So this one I'm definitely want to try It's the Natasha Denona all over glow face and body shimmer and powder I like the shade one which is light, sh which is a champagne It's for fair to light skin tones, which I guess is my skin tone I feel like I have a light, you know, like neutral skin tone I feel like almost I feel like I do have cool undertones to my face But I also feel like I might have a little bit of warm and undertone to my face and yeah This shade just looks beautiful and I feel like this is just probably such a beautiful highlight. I would never buy the face palettes or the palettes by Natasha Denona because they're just so ridiculously pricey. But I feel like if I'm not gonna get anything from her, I would definitely get this. Like, look how gorgeous that looks. That is beautiful. I definitely need another highlight and that's the one I need. Okay, so next I'm surprised this isn't gone, but this is on my list as well. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is the holiday edition and everything. And I Everyone raves about this. Everyone talks about this. Everyone says how amazing this product is. I'm just like, I need this in my life. This is basically a leave-on lip mask that soothes, moisturizes for smoother, simpler lips overnight. It's supposed to help with dryness, dullness, loss of firmness, which I'm not really concerned about, but my lips get crusty, especially in the winter time. So I put this on my list. It does retail for $20 and you get 0.7 ounces or 20 grams of product, which isn't a ton, but I've been curious about this and I just I don't know I kind of want this because my lips are crusty and it's on my list for that reason I guess and it just looks nice and I would love to try this like maybe I should get a sample of it I don't know but I really really want to try this like so bad like seriously so it's on my list I guess for that reason I don't know next another palette that's on there is the Seati London Chloe Morello pretty fun and fearless I should have found this retails for $42 and I've just always been like intrigued about this palette palette and everything I've always thought that it looks like a really pretty palette like that purple called fierce oh I'm living for that purple and this just looks like a me palette because I'm really into the purples and stuff and I don't know if I will get this but it is like very much on my radar it's very much something that I would like to own and everything but I don't know if I'd actually get this it's a 15 shade eyeshadow palette created in collaboration with Ciate and YouTube phenomenon Chloe Morello so I'm really intrigued with this love all the purples in it and it just looks like a fun palette so that's kind of on my list there's not really much exclamation to it it just looks like a great palette so of course it's on my list so next I put this on here a while I'm kind of into dry shampoos and getting samples of them so this retails for $14 for like a mini and this is the IGK direct flight multitasking dry shampoo mini I've tried a couple IGK products and I really really like them and this is the direct flight multitasking dry shampoo it's for basically all hair types. It's a texturizing, volumizing, style extending dry shampoo. It uses turmeric and charcoal powder to lift dirt and oil with while well absorbing oil and sweat. I do have generally greasy hair so like I can go like maybe a day and then like so say I wash my hair on a Monday night I can go the whole next day without having any issues but then, and then the day after that I feel is when my hair gets greasy so that's kind of my problem so I do use dry shampoos a lot and I do Oh, I like trying new dry shampoos. I've definitely tried some I don't like. I've tried some I do like. I basically stick to the Batiste, the dark brown. For the most part, I really like that dry shampoo. But I would love to try this and maybe they will have some hair set or anything next holiday season, which I know is very far away, but I honestly don't need this like currently. But if they ever had like some set, I would love to try out that. So next I have a couple foundations on there. The first one, I like really want to try like more high-end foundations this year. At least I say I do. And the first one is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. Prefer 
preferably I like like dewy hydrating foundations I just find my skin like likes those I don't really like the suck your face like matte foundations anymore and everything and they do have shade finders on Sephora which I really like but I wish they matched it to drugstore foundations as well because I find I have more drugstore than like high-end foundations and everything so this is supposed to be a comfortable natural matte long wear wearing liquid foundation that hydrates and won't settle into pores and fine lines oxidizes or transfer up to 24 hours and the new shades at the new lower price supposed to be medium coverage natural liquid formulation of course normal dry combination skin is what complements and it has vitamin e oil in it and then also hyaluronic acids i think this is an awesome foundation i think it looks really awesome and it's very like i guess hydrating and stuff like that i just it has a pretty good shade range as well so this is something i would also like to try so the next one i would love to try is the Too faced born this way foundation i've heard about this for a while as well and i just like i said i like hydrating foundations and this one is like a radium finish which i love and it has also a decent amount of shades and everything and so basically this is an oil free foundation and naturally diffuses the line between makeup and skin with coverage so undetectable they think you are born this way love that Too Faced it's full coverage radiant and it's a liquid formulation it has coconut water in it alpine rose and hyaluronic acid and i've just this has been like on my wish list for like i feel like the longest time like i did a wish list maybe like in 2016 and i feel like this was on my list so i do really want to try this still and i hope i will you know because why not and yeah I really hope I try this out because it looks awesome next another foundation on here that I have is the Tarte water foundation broad spectrum SPF 15 reinforces C collection and this also just looks awesome I, I there's a theme I love dewy hydrating foundations like I said and this has also a lot of shades in it and this is supposed to be a medium coverage natural liquid formulation it's hypoallergenic vegan foundation that delivers powerful pollution to Funds and weightless buildable coverage that looks naturally flawless. It has marine plant extracts, water, and vitamin E in it. Those are like the main ingredients and it's supposed to be really good for your skin. And I would love to try this out as well. And I believe it's in different packaging than the typical foundation, which is cool. So next I have a highlight on here. Of course, you know, I'm addicted to highlights. I have the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Kilowatt Freestyle Highlight. So it's half of Mean Money. And then also Hustle Baby, which is a soft champagne sheen and a supercharged peachy champagne highlight i feel like these highlights out of all the fenty beauty ones are ones that i love like i feel like this is just something i really like i really like the coloring of these and this is definitely a highlight i do want to try out in this like in 2018 this is something i'm really intrigued about and intrigued with trying so maybe i will try this i'm really excited about like makeup this year i don't know like these are just on my list i really want to purchase a lot of these like like I'm always going through my list and decluttering it, but this looks like an awesome highlight. So I definitely need to add this to my collection. Okay, so I've had this item on my list for years and I've just, I go from putting it in my loves list to taking it out. I go through this process over and over again. Like I just, I don't know, like I'm so undecisive about it. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. And yes, this has gone from being in my cart to not being in my cart. I'm not like a huge peach fan, but the shades that really get me are like blue and caramelized I think I might need to go in store and like check this out either to Sephora or Ulta and be like hmm do I want this but it definitely it's not on the top of my list but I definitely love the like looks of it and everything and I feel like like any palette I probably won't use every shade but I feel like I might use like a lot of the shades and they just look super like I don't know they look pretty and everything I feel like maybe watching some tutorial tutorials would help me like decide if I actually really truly want this but as of right now I'm just like really into this the colors look gorgeous and just there's certain shades in this palette that really get me and I'm like hmm if not I'll probably make my my own dupe palette for this and just pick out the shades that I want to have in a palette and make my own palette like with color pop shadows or something 
but I am intrigued about that. So next I added this, I believe at the beginning of last year, and this is the Stila One Step Prime. I used to like the Stila One Step Correct when I have like terrible acne. And this just looks so intriguing. It's supposed to be an all-in-one lightweight serum that preps, primes, conditions, and smooth skin. This just really like stood out to me as a primer. It has like 15 minerals in it. It just looks awesome. And I don't know if I will get this. This also retails for $36, but it just looks so intriguing. And I'm just like, I'm I'm into it. Like I'm literally loving this. Like I'm, I'm very intrigued about this. So it looks interesting. It has a pump and I just, I, this is something I would love to try. So maybe I will, maybe I won't, but it definitely caught my attention last year when I still added it. And some of these products towards the bottom you might have sell last year. So I'm just gonna briefly talk about it. So then I have a bunch of Stila glitters on my list. So we have Gypsy, which is a mid-tone lilac with magenta pearl. I'm not gonna open up each one since they're all Stila glitters. I don't know, I just feel like it's too much. Then I have the Stila Smoky Storm, which I have a sample of, but I'm just gonna keep it in there just for the time being. And Smoky Storm is a light pewter and silver. Then I also have Smoldering Satin, which is a deep tan and silver. Gold Goddess, which is a gold, which I think I might have in a sample. I don't know. Diamond Dust, I definitely have a sample, which is a sheer silver multicolor kitten, which is their Shimmer and Glow, not the Glitter and Glow. The other ones were Glitter and Glows. Also Shimmer and Glow is Cloud, which is a gold with a lavender shimmery like shift. And then the last thing on my loves list that's been in there forever is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss in Pure Peach, which is like a peachy pink, but I don't honestly think this is a peach. Like it just looks like pink to me. I don't know. Cause my mom hates peach. She, she really does. And and I don't love peach either, but like, I don't hate it. But she hates peach and this is like a peachy pink, but she didn't think it was peachy. So this has been on my list forever. I do want to repurchase this because I had a little sample of it and I loved it, but it's not like collection anymore and I feel like I need it. So that is the last thing that is on my list. They also have like a lot of other shades. So maybe I'll try a new shade, but I really liked this shade. So I think I might go in store one day and repurchase this. They only have like six shades. So I feel like like I need this in my life. Like I, I truly do. Yeah, it's just so gorgeous. We love a good old gloss. I mean, I have a lot of glosses, but I feel like I need this. I don't know. And yeah, so that's the last item that is on my list for my Sephora Loves List for 2019. I'm also gonna do an Ulta favorites list. I'll probably post it within a couple weeks. I think I'm gonna film it either today or tomorrow because I feel like I haven't added everything to it. So I'll probably film it tomorrow, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what's on your loves list. I love to hear about it it'll probably end up in my cart if, you, if it's on your loves list and you're telling me about it but tell me anyways i want to hear about it so let me know down below also let me know any videos you'd like to see next down below and also i have to say this i have probably posted a lot more videos before this but i have no idea when i'm posting this but thank you so much for 300 subscribers i literally just hit it this morning and i can't thank you enough thank you so much if you've been subscribed to my channel for even one hour one day one year four years three years however long i've been on youtube thank you so much for subscribing and please subscribe if you haven't already post videos every single week on Mondays and Fridays or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, depending the week. I have no idea when this is going up. So my uploading schedule might have changed. We will see, but either way, I do post videos every single week. So be sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.